My name is Chris Eggleston. I'm a volunteer with Water Wells for Africa. We are here in Reuben Lemon. Number two, this is the second borehole put in in this village. It is 45 meters deep. It was put in October 13th, 2022. I want to say a huge thank you. This was donated to the glory of God in loving memory of Ann Swan Dixon. I want to say so thank you so much, Sue, for your donation, this awesome gift of a borehole to these people. These are the people who will use this borehole. This is the people that I talked to on the water well committee. This is Sukola and Alice, Justin Goodson. She is the chair. This is the treasurer and the vice chair for the water committee. They told me a little bit about before they had the well in this area. They said there was no safe water. They went to the river uh, that was nearby here, which would dry up in October. And so they told me when they went there uh, in October, when it would dry up, they would go to the mountain. So there's a mountain near here. It's about maybe three kilometers, maybe even four. So it's a much longer distance. They were telling me, Sokola was saying that we would have to stop and rest because it was such a long walk. And so they would wake up at two or three in the morning. This is the women and the children would wake up that early to go get water. So the children were definitely not going to school. Now these children actually, there is no school in this area. So that's a, a continuing problem, but they have very little time to do anything but gather water. And so. They were also sick all the time, especially during the rainy season. They described the water as dirty, that the river water that they would use in the rainy season got very dirty, and so they suffered with waterborne disease. Um, their husbands and wives, they were fighting due to, they were suspicious, you know, they were wondering, where are you? Why is it taking you so long? Um, and also they added that there was no showering before bed because this water that they were getting, it's only used for drinking, and it's only used for cooking because it was so scarce. But now, with the njiko, or water well, put in here, they shared with me when the drill truck came up, they were so happy, they ran up rejoicing, and they killed a chicken and made a chicken feast with rice and tobwa, which is a Malawian drink that they make. They also said they can bathe whatever time they want, as many times as they want. Their relationships are restored. They've started doing some community development. They've started clearing some brush away from the forest here to make sure there's no forest fires that start. There's a lot of tall grass, a lot of dry grass, so they're protecting the water table in doing that. It actually helps this water table that they're able to drink from now. Um, they're also building roads and they're farming. So all around this area, there's a lot of beans and we've been actually snacking on them as we're walking around. So they're able to cultivate, they're able to farm instead of waking up at two in the morning to go get water. So as you can imagine, it's made them a lot more productive in making a living in this area. So we asked them about the waterborne disease and it's palibe. They said there's no more dysentery or diarrhea or cholera in this area. Um, so when I asked them, is there anything that you want to say to the person who donated this? Sikola here, she said, we're so grateful. She said, don't stop. And she said, even do this for others. She said, do this for others, um, even, even in this area, because there's still such a need. And so we all just want to say thank you so much, Sue Dixon. To the glory of God, in loving memory of Ann Dixon, we thank you. We say from Reuben Lemon, we say Zukomo. Zukomo! Okay, thank you so much. Hallelujah.